If you want your wig to look good, sis, glue it down. Or you can go for this step, because this, this, this looking good here. If I wasn't on camera, I would be doing it unapologetically. <laughs> okay? Oh, loving it. Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty With Todd. Thanks for coming back to my channel. So today I will be showing you guys a different method that I was trying to lay down my wig as well as these new headbands that I am trying out that I am so in love with you guys. So just keep watching and let me know which one you love the best. Okay y'all, so I am ready to braid my hair up. I have already gotten started. But really quick, I'm gonna show you. This is the hair that I will be using in today's video. Comes with a little packlet, and you know all about the hair and stuff like that. They also sent me this cute little mirror, little traveling mirror. And then here's the wig. Mm, she long. She is long. Really pretty and long. All right, so let me show you the inside construction really quick. We have lace all the way across the front hairline. And it's about two inches on the side and about six inches in the middle. And then we have our tracks wefted in the back as well as a little lace back here. This is how it looks. So you do have lace all across the front. So you are able to part it anywhere. You just limit it on your sides. The hair actually feels really good. Really, really, really good. Okay, and the knots have not been bleached, so I am going to go in and bleach the knots. So let me go ahead and braid this up. Bam! Cornrows done. They are rough. I have on long nails, so yeah, bear with me. But I did go ahead and bleach my knots and tint my lace. I use 40 volume developer for the bleach. And I use tailored crown lace tint. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead. What I like to do before I install my wigs is hot comb it off my head while I'm holding it. So I just do this to get all of the hairs to lay back flat. Okay, so now the hair is all pressed back. Looks really good. Okay y'all, so for this install, I will be using the Got To Be Glued Free Spray. Usually I will pull this back, spray it, and then pull it down. But I think I'm going to do it a different way. I'm just gonna spray it from here. And blow dry it in sections, so like this. Like that, and then I'm gonna blow dry. Spray a little bit more on my comb and just put it at the right at the edge so we won't have any lifting. And this is for all my people who do not want to use lace adhesive, which is going to give you that true meltdown other than the got to be glued free spray. However, this is the second best thing after the glue. If you want your wig to look good, sis, glue it down. Or you can go for this step, cause this, this, this looking good here. Let me cut my sides. So I'm just gonna cut about here. Make sure it can fit right, right there behind my ear. Blow dry till it's dry. Okay, so for the side tab, which is already up, I'm going to spray underneath first, press it down, and hold it, and blow dry it. Alright, now I think I'm okay to just cut off the rest of the lace. This is scary helmet is shit. <laughs> I might need little babies, because y'all, she's scary. This ain't it. She looks scary. We are going to help her out with some baby hairs. Cause it ain't right. Just some thin ones. You see the smallest amount of hair I'm pulling out. The smallest. All right, let's see. Some more spray.
Okay, so this is what I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and struggle with this side and now shall return. All that should keep. All straightened. Super, super thick, really, really cute, flowy, nice, everything. So let me go ahead and take off this scarf and see what this is giving. Let's see. Okay, sis. I see you, sis. And I actually just want to put this band on it. I've been loving how my hair looks with like these little pieces. I got this from Rainbow and it was $5, I believe. And it's been looking so good with my hair like pushed back. Oh, loving it. Okay, so let's put this on. Dang. Am I able to move these? And just have them more. Not as crusty. So stupid. I know y'all, this is nasty, but if I wasn't on camera, I would be doing it unapologetically. <laughs> okay. Now we're just gonna pull this hairband piece back. Put it back a little bit more. So cute, so cute. Mm. Okay, here I see you, girl. <laughs> Shorty is looking good. Oh, look at that highlight. Mm -hmm. Crayon case. I see. This is how long it is. And the uh, the got to be glue free spray came through like, okay, sis. Too cute. I also have this headband here, which I love. Looks like this. I got this one from Walmart and it was like $5. Oh, like these headbands just do something to me. They look so good. I just love the way they look. Love it. Okay, and then I also got this one from Rainbow as well. My dog was chewing on this one, so it's a little messed up. Oh, why my earring? Okay. Super cute. Okay, y'all, so I have one more. And while I've been on this little headband train, a company sent me a headband, a Gucci one. <laughs> this is Gucci, right? They sent me a Gucci one. Girl, stop playing. I got this in the mail today. So if y'all see this in another video, it's because it's for that hair company. I haven't done the video yet, <laughs> but I opened up the package. Oh, what? Talk to me. Talk to me, headband. Talk to me. Mm -hmm. This earring is dumb. Love this headband. Okay, guys, so that's all for this video. Please make sure you leave me a comment down below and thumbs up if you haven't already. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.